Mathematics in China emerged independently by the 11th century BC. The Chinese independently developed very large and negative numbers, decimals, a place value decimal system, a binary system, algebra, geometry, and trigonometry. Knowledge of Chinese mathematics before 254 BC is somewhat fragmentary, and even after this date the manuscript traditions are obscure. Dates centuries before the classical period are generally considered conjectural by Chinese scholars unless accompanied by verified archaeological evidence. In a direct analogue with the situation in the Far West, Neither Western nor Chinese archaeological findings comparable to those for Babylonia or Egypt are known. As in other early societies the focus was on astronomy in order to perfect the agricultural calendar and other practical tasks, and not on establishing formal systems. Ancient Chinese mathematicians did not develop an axiomatic approach, but made advances in algorithm development and algebra. While the Greek mathematics declined in the West during the medieval times, the achievement of Chinese algebra reached its zenith in the 13th century, when Zhu Shida invented the method of four unknowns. As a result of obvious linguistic and geographic barriers, as well as content, Chinese mathematics and the mathematics of the ancient Mediterranean world are presumed to have developed more or less independently up to the time when the nine chapters on the mathematical art reached its final form, while the writings on reckoning and wine and zi are roughly contemporary with classical Greek mathematics. Some exchange of ideas across Asia through known cultural exchanges from at least Roman times is likely. Frequently, elements of the mathematics of early societies correspond to rudimentary results found later in branches of modern mathematics such as geometry or number theory. The Pythagorean theorem, for example, has been attested to the time of the Duke of Zhou. Knowledge of Pascal's triangle has also been shown to have existed in China centuries before Pascal, such as by Shen Kuo. Early Chinese Mathematics Simple mathematics on oracle bone scripts date back to the Shang dynasty. One of the oldest surviving mathematical works is the Yi Jing, which greatly influenced written literature during the Zhou dynasty. For mathematics, the book included a sophisticated use of hexagrams. Leibniz pointed out, the I Ching contained elements of binary numbers. Since the Shang period, the Chinese had already fully developed a decimal system. Since early times, Chinese understood basic arithmetic, algebra, equations, and negative numbers with counting rods. Although the Chinese were more focused on arithmetic and advanced algebra for astronomical uses, they were also the first to develop negative numbers, algebraic geometry and the usage of decimals. Math was one of the Lu Yi or Six Arts students were required to master during the Zhou dynasty. Learning them all perfectly was required to be a perfect gentleman, or in the Chinese sense, a Renaissance man. Six Arts have their roots in the Confucian philosophy. The oldest existent work on geometry in China comes from the philosophical Mohist canon of C. 330 BC, compiled by the followers of Mozi. The Mo Jing described various aspects of many fields associated with physical science, and provided a small wealth of information on mathematics as well. It provided an atomic definition of the geometric point, stating that a line is separated into parts, and the part which has no remaining parts and thus forms the extreme end of a line is a point. Much like Euclid's first and third definitions and Plato's beginning of a line, the Mo Jing stated that a point may stand at the end or at its beginning like a head presentation in childbirth. There is nothing similar to it, similar to the atomists of Democritus. The Mo Jing stated that a point is the smallest unit and cannot be cut in half, since nothing cannot be halved. It stated that two lines of equal length will always finish at the same place. While providing definitions for the comparison of lengths and for parallels, along with principles of space and bounded space, 
It also described the fact that planes without the quality of thickness cannot be piled up since they cannot mutually touch. The book provided word recognition for circumference, diameter, and radius, along with the definition of volume. The history of mathematical development lacks some evidence. There are still debates about certain mathematical classics. For example, the Zhou Bai Suanjing dates around 1200 to 1000 BC, yet many scholars believed it was written between 300-250 BC. The Zhou Bai Suanjing contains an in-depth proof of the Gaoju theorem but focuses more on astronomical calculations. The abacus was first mentioned in the 2nd century BC, alongside calculation with rods in which small bamboo sticks are placed in successive squares of a checkerboard. Keen mathematics. Not much is known about Qin dynasty mathematics, or before, due to the burning of books and burying of scholars, circa 213-210 BCE. Knowledge of this period must be carefully determined by their civil projects and historical evidence. The Qin dynasty created a standard system of weights. Civil projects of the Qin dynasty were incredible feats of human engineering. Emperor Qin Shi Huang ordered many men to build large, life-size statues for the palace tomb along with various other temples and shrines. The shape of the tomb is designed with geometric skills of architecture. It is certain that one of the greatest feats of human history, the Great Wall required many mathematical techniques. All Qin dynasty buildings and grand projects used advanced computation formulas for volume, area and proportion. Keen Bamboo Cash purchased at the Antiquarian Market of Hong Kong by the UL Academy, according to the preliminary reports, contains the earliest epigraphic sample of a mathematical treatise, Han Mathematics, in the Han Dynasty. Numbers were developed into a place-value decimal system and used on a counting board with a set of counting rods called Chuzhuan, consisted of only nine symbols. A blank space on the counting board stood for zero. The mathematicians Lu Xin and Zhang Heng gave more accurate approximations for pi than Chinese of previous centuries had used. Zhang also applied mathematics in his work in astronomy. Hundreds of examples of the practical use of mathematics by Qin and Han administrators have been excavated, proving that many of the topics discussed in theoretical treatises were actually in use. Suan Shu Shu The Suan Shu Shu is an ancient Chinese text on mathematics approximately 7,000 characters in length, written on 190 bamboo strips. It was discovered together with other writings in 1984 when archaeologists opened a tomb at Zhang Zhashan in Hubei province. From documentary evidence this tomb is known to have been closed in 186 BC, early in the Western Han Dynasty. While its relationship to the Nine Chapters is still under discussion by scholars, some of its contents are clearly paralleled there. The text of the Suan Shu Shu is however much less systematic than the Nine Chapters, and appears to consist of a number of more or less independent short sections of text drawn from a number of sources. Some linguistic hints point back to the Qin Dynasty. In an example of an elementary mathematics in the Suan Shu Shu, the square root is approximated by using an excess and deficiency method which says to combine the excess and deficiency as the divisor, the deficiency numerator multiplied by the excess denominator and the excess numerator times the deficiency denominator. Combine them as the dividend. The nine chapters on the mathematical art The nine chapters on the mathematical art is a Chinese mathematics book its oldest archaeological date being 179 AD, but perhaps as early as 300-200 BC. Although the author are unknown, they made a huge contribution in the Eastern world. The methods were made for everyday life and gradually taught advanced methods. It also contains evidence of the Gaussian elimination and Kramer's rule for system of linear equations. The Nine Chapters on the Mathematical Art was one of the most influential of all Chinese mathematical books and it is composed of some 246 problems. 
Chapter 8 deals with solving determinate and indeterminate simultaneous linear equations using positive and negative numbers, with one problem dealing with solving four equations in five unknowns. Estimates concerning the Chu Pei Suan Qing, generally considered to be the oldest of the mathematical classics, differ by almost a thousand years. A date of about 300 BC would appear reasonable, thus placing it in close competition with another treatise, the Zhuzhang Suan Shu, composed about 250 BC, that is, shortly before the Han Dynasty. Almost as old as the Chu Pei, and perhaps the most influential of all Chinese mathematical books was the Zhuzhang Suan Shu, or nine chapters on the mathematical art. This book includes 246 problems on surveying, agriculture, partnerships, engineering, taxation, calculation, the solution of equations, and the properties of right triangles. Chapter 8 of the nine chapters is significant for its solution of problems of simultaneous linear equations, using both positive and negative numbers. The earliest known magic squares appeared in China. The Chinese were especially fond of patterns, as a natural outcome of arranging counting rods in rows on counting board to carry out computation. Hence, it is not surprising that the first record of a magic square appeared there. The concern for such patterns led the author of the nine chapters to solve the system of simultaneous linear equations by placing the coefficients and constant terms of the linear equations into a matrix and performing column reducing operations on the matrix to reduce it to a triangular form, represented by the equations 36z equals 99, 5y plus z equals 24, and 3x plus 2y plus z equals 39 from which the values of z, y, and x are successively found with ease. The last problem in the chapter involves four equations in five unknowns, and the topic of indeterminate equations was to remain a favorite among Oriental peoples. Mathematics in the period of disunity In the 3rd century Lu Hui wrote his commentary on the nine chapters and also wrote Hai Dao Su Anjing which dealt with using Pythagorean theorem and triple, quadruple triangulation for surveying. His accomplishment in the mathematical surveying exceeded those accomplished in the West by a millennium. He was the first Chinese mathematician to calculate pi equals 3.1416 with his pi algorithm. He discovered the usage of Cavalieri's principle to find an accurate formula for the volume of a cylinder, and also developed elements of the integral and the differential calculus during the 3rd century CE. In the 4th century, another influential mathematician named Zhu Chongzhi introduced the Da Ming Li. This calendar was specifically calculated to predict many cosmological cycles that will occur in a period of time. Very little is really known about his life. Today, the only sources are found in Book of Suai. We now know that Zhu Chongji was one of the generations of mathematicians. He used Lu Hui's Pi algorithm applied to a 12,288 gon and obtained a value of Pi to seven accurate decimal places which would remain the most accurate approximation of pi available for the next 900 years. He also used He Chengshen's interpolation method for approximating a rational number with fraction in his astronomy and mathematical works. He obtained as a good fraction approximate for pi. Yoshio Mikami commented that neither the Greeks nor the Hindus nor Arabs knew about this fraction approximation to pi, not until the Dutch mathematician Adrian Antonisch Zoom rediscovered it in 1585. The Chinese had therefore been possessed of this the most extraordinary of all fractional values over a whole millennium earlier than Europe, along with his son. Zhu Geng, Zhu Chongji used the Cavalieri method to find an accurate solution for calculating the volume of the sphere. His work, Zhu Shu, was discarded out of the syllabus of mathematics during the Song dynasty and lost.
Many believe that Jui Shu contains the formulas and methods for linear matrix algebra algorithm for calculating the value of pi, formula for the volume of the sphere. The text should also associate with his astronomical methods of interpolation, which would contain knowledge similar to our modern mathematics. A mathematical manual called Sunzi Mathematical Classic, dated around 400 CE, contained the most detailed step-by-step -step description of multiplication and division algorithm with counting rods. The earliest record of multiplication and division algorithm using Hindu-Arabic numerals was in writing by Al-Khwarizmi in the early 9th century. Khwarizmi's step-by-step -step division algorithm was completely identical to Sunzi division algorithm described in Sunzi Mathematical Classic four centuries earlier. Khwarizmi's work was translated into Latin in the 13th century and spread to the West. The division algorithm later evolved into galley division, the root of transmission of Chinese place value decimal arithmetic know-how to the West is unclear. How Sunzi's division and multiplication algorithm with rod calculus ended up in Hindu-Arabic numeral form in Khwarizmi's work is unclear, as Al-Khwarizmi never given any Sanskrit source nor quote any Sanskrit stanza. However, the influence of rod calculus on Hindu division is evident. For example in the division example, 324 should be 32,400. Only rod calculus used blanks for zeros. In the 5th century the manual called Zhang Qiu Qian Su Anjing discussed linear and quadratic equations. By this point the Chinese had the concept of negative numbers. Tang Mathematics The Suai Dynasty and Tang Dynasty ran their school of computations. By the Tang Dynasty study of mathematics was fairly standard in the great schools. The Ten Computational Canons was a collection of ten Chinese mathematical works compiled by early Tang Dynasty mathematician Li Chunfeng, in which cubic equations appear for the first time the Tibetans obtained their first knowledge of mathematics from China during the reign of Nam Ri, strong BTSAN, who died in 630. The table of signs by the Indian mathematician, Aryabhata, were translated into the Chinese mathematical book of the Kai Yu and Zhangjing, compiled in 718 AD during the Tang dynasty. Although the Chinese excelled in other fields of mathematics such as solid geometry, binomial theorem, and complex algebraic formulas, early forms of trigonometry were not as widely appreciated as in the contemporary Indian and Islamic mathematics. Ising, the mathematician and Buddhist monk was credited for calculating the tangent table. Instead, the early Chinese used an empirical substitute known as Chongcha, while practical use of plain trigonometry and using the sine, the tangent, and the secant were known.